Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to install and uninstall the motherboard from the WF3640. I have a worksheet. You can buy it or you can just follow my video. On the worksheet, the screw icon means you have to remove some screws. And the hand means you have to remove or install something. So I'm going to remove the two screws on the fax, fax cover and uh, then remove the fax cover. We're going to work on the scanner's wire. So uh, get a hold of this bench wire, just start pulling. Uh, at this time, you don't really worry uh, about uh, which wire is which. And uh, just as, as long as it comes from the scanner, just pull it off. This fat, juicy one is called the FFC cable. And you have two black ground wires secured by a screw. The worksheet is separated into different sections. I suggest you use a different container for the screws uh, for each section. So it will be easier for you to do the installation later. And this FFC cable has uh, go through an iron core. The iron core is glued on the board with double-sided tape. You can just use something to pry it out. And then remove the iron core. You can use some tape to temporarily tape them together. And uh, this is all the wires coming from the scanner. And two screws on the scanner top. The second screw is a little bit deep. Uh, to remove the scanner, I uh, find that there's a tab right there and uh, use your thumb to move it towards your right, like that. Just bend it to the right. At the same time, close the scanner on your hand. Kind of smash your hand and the whole scanner is going to come off. And uh, you can take off the wires. Okay, section two, and uh, remove seven screws. One, take out this hinge and the second screw is underneath the hinge. Three is inside that hole. Four is on the top. Okay, five, there are two screws. Five is the bottom one, not the top one. Uh, six is on the top again, and uh, the seventh is in the hole. Uh, do not try to remove the cover until you make sure you get the seven screws. Now you can see the cover is really loose, and uh, just go use your hand to go around, and uh, just lift a little bit by little bit, and it's going to come off. Now we're going to work on the bottom of the main board. Just pull off as many wires as you can, and don't uh, worry about the sequence and which ones go to which. This thick uh, blue wire is the power. And you have a little FFC cable, and uh, also you have a ground wire secured by a screw. Oh, just in case you need to uh, remove the power supply, and uh, there's a screw on the power supply. Unscrew this, and the power su supply is going to slide right out. Uh, this is not necessary for the main board. I'm just, I'm just showing it. Okay, now you guys tell me what the workflow says. And you're going to also remove a big FFIC cable, and uh, then a wire, and then one ground wire. There are three things. And you're going to put the front panel away. Now we're going to work on this side cover. If you look straight down, that's where the screw is. And next to the screw hole, there's a plastic tab. And uh, you can use your finger lift that tab. You can see this one is already loose. So just use your finger lift it up, and uh, the cover is going to loose. Now just twist it horizontally, and uh, the cover should come off. You can see there's a tab on the bottom. And then uh, this, this tab that you lift it. And the middle one is the screw hole. Twist, lift, and remove. Now we have a 3 FFC with iron core. And then we have a really thin FFC. There are three FFCs and one wire. At this time, don't, uh, don't worry about which one is which. And uh, pay attention how you untangle it. The motherboard assembly is going to include that piece of uh, black plastic. So you want to untangle them away from uh, the whole thing. There are four screws 
secure the motherboard. So there are two, uh, three and four, they are front ones. So, so just remove those two first. On the worksheet, the number one, the bent one, uh, is this one, uh, this screw. Uh, I call the bend because after remove it, if you only going to uh, swap this motherboard once, you can bend the metal. However, that piece of metal uh, well is going to break after you bend it uh, three, four times. So, uh, if you do it this in long term, you should remove this screw and uh, uh, remove that metal piece. Okay, number two, the deep one. If you look straight down, it's right there. And there's just one screw, so you can't miss it. Now the main board is loose, and uh, remember, only thing holding it is, is the wire uh, or cable. Just uh, take a look uh, where the wire is. Uh, remember this uh, FAT, uh, the FFC cable is from the fax, it's coming from the side. And also you get this gray wire, and uh, it needed to be pulled down to the kind of middle slot, it's about right here. And then there's a black wire, you need to pull it up and uh, to, that, uh, to, to that slot in the middle. Okay, the FFC cable is away and the two wires in the middle, and uh, you push the fax unit back a little bit and jiggle a little bit. Oh, by the way, the, the box on your left, that's a fax unit. There are four screws on each corner to secure the top cover. Then you can remove the top cover with Wi-Fi card. And then there are four screws, two big ones. And there are two little ones on the USB ports. For the square USB port, you have a short and a fat one. And the skinny USB port, you have a long and a skinny one. The long and the skinny one, you need a number one Phillips screwdriver. And the fat one, you uh, can still use number two screwdriver. Okay, it's getting long. I'm going to put uh, the installation in the next video. Oh, by the way, let me show you where to get the work uh, the, the workflow sheets. Uh, you don't really need it uh, at, un at uninstall, but when you install, you're definitely going to need a worksheet. Uh, you go to bchtechnology.com and uh, go to printer parts. And under Epson, go to install, uninstall workflow. I believe don't share it on the file share or something. And it really take, take me a lot of time to develop this. Uh, as I said, you don't have to buy it. Everything is in the video. However, if you do want a hard copy, and uh, I'll put the link above too. Okay, see you at the install. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.